I did start my class group, the 2012-2013 students. Again, you don't have to name your students that you may have um, first period group, second period group. Um, I just think it. Uh, last year I did manage it um, through one gr big group, and I'm going to try to do it differently this year. So, in the previous video, we saw that uh, there was a student that joined, or I posed as a student that joined my group. So now, at the top of your Emoto page, always at the top, it'll be at the very top, no matter how many posts are below, you will have the opportunity to send anything you want to your students. You can send an alert, and yet that alert may simply say, test, you know, test on Friday, you know, and you can just send it to your 2000, um, 12, and those you notice it said 2012 2013 parents too because your parents can also have a code to join the group um, and then you'll send that and it'll go to your group members you can all that's just an alert you can send a note which simply says um, in the note you can either send a um, instructions to watch uh, this video okay let me fix that watch this say you may have posted a video watch this video um, after the video um, answer questions on reflection sheets and that's just something that I do you don't have to have reflection sheets you may have uh, something different so so there are the instructions and beneath the instructions you may you may want to attach a link to a video. Com. Any URL um, you put in there, if it's a valid URL, it will recognize it and then you just attach. Alright? And you can put multiple attachments if you choose to or you may choose to get something out of your library. But you don't have a library that has been built up at this point. But the more you use your um, library, the more or the more you add, use it mode, the more you'll add to your library. And so you'll send that to the 2012-2013. So now you've sent an alert and you've sent a link to those students. And it shows under there that you sent those things. Also, um, you may send a file. You may upload a file And that file students. can be a picture file. It can be a video that you created yourself. Okay? That's just, and it's not, it's not a public URL. It's just something that you created yourself. And you can send that to okay, your students. Okay, so you can send it as much as you want. You wouldn't want, you don't, it wants you to, let's see, preview. It wants me to write. You always have to give some type of instruction. You can't just send them something without giving them instruction. That's just good teaching, right? So preview this video for class discussion tomorrow. And you can even um, post an article that you want them to read online, some type of uh, journal online. Uh, you can attach a link to that. You can there. It's just endless what you can do. So you can send that. Um, of course, you wouldn't want to overload them with these types of things. But this is just a note. And the thing, the difference in a note and an assignment is this is not. There's not. A, if you notice, there's not a due date on any of these. So um, this is going to take a little while when you upload a video from your uh, library in your computer. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer so to upload those files. In the meantime, I think you can still go ahead and uh, send other assignments. So you may want to send a poll. Um, what do you know about Edmodo? Okay. So that is a poll, and then the, the first answer may be, um, let me change this to how much do you know? How much do you know? How much do you know about Emoto? And the first answer will be not much. Uh, I know uh, a lot. And the last answer, we'll, we'll add one more answer that will say, um, I 
am an expert. Okay, so all of your students will get this poll if you go ahead and send it to them, and then you'll get a percentage, right? This is a great uh, pre-assessment tool, find out what type of background knowledge your students have, but it's not gonna send it to that other uh, post uploads. So, and it, you know, you don't, that video is an HD video that I uploaded. I don't know why I did that. And those are harder to upload straight from your computer. It's easier to upload them uh, if you just put the URL that you maybe have uploaded to a YouTube account or a SchoolTube account or so forth.